Every night here on Fox 9, we like to take a closer look at the weather and try to learn a few things while we're at it. Tonight, talking about clouds and how they're formed, right, Scott? Yeah, we're going to talk about how they're formed, plus how that kind of affects the plane. You know how you're coming into a plane and it seems smooth and all of a sudden it starts to get a little bumpy when you get near the clouds or below the clouds? There's a reason for that. It has to do with kind of how clouds are formed as well. So moisture determines how high up the clouds form. Did you notice how when it's been cold and snowy in the wintertime, the clouds, the bases of those clouds are hanging real, real low and the air is very humid. It doesn't have to rise too very far for it to cool and condense and make the clouds. So in other words, you have to get air to rise. If you cool air, the moisture that's in the air will condense and form a cloud. And so what happens is, is you force that air to rise by either sending it over a mountain or by the sun heating the ground, warming the ground, a little bubble of air rising and it can go to 3,000 feet and you'll get the cloud base uh, during the uh, winter months when it's real humid. When it's dry in the summertime, some of our cloud bases are up to 8, 10,000 feet because the air is so dry it has to rise way, way up before it can cool enough to cause the cloud to form. So when planes are flying, uh, you'll, you may have noticed if you've been flying in a plane, you get a nice smooth flight when you're over the, over the clouds. As you start to come in for landing, when you get near the clouds, a lot of times the pilot will be flying trying to go around the clouds and minimize his track through the clouds because what's happening is the the ground is being heated, all that warm air is rising, and that's what causes the turbulence in the atmosphere, and it will be turbulent right up to and right to the top of the cloud where the air is uh, condensing as well, but above the cloud, it's generally smooth, and so a bumpy flight as you go through the cloud and sometimes below it, generally a smoother flight. So a pilot, if they're flying in a small plane, if it's bumpy, you go up above those little puffy clouds, and it'll be a lot smoother. If you've got any questions, you can email me at weather at fox9now.com. Roll it. All right. Thanks, Scott. It's inspired.